As many of you know, I've been teaching this class for many, many years. I've never really used Minitab to do a frequency distribution. My dog is about to bark, so that just goes with the territory. She hears something outside. But you can use Minitab. I just figured this out. It blows my mind. <coughs> Here is a question from the review quiz for Chapter 2. It wants us to create a frequency distribution using five classes based on this data. We're going to do it. Let's go make tab delimited copy. Say OK. And let's paste it into Minitab. Right click, paste cells. I'm just going to call it data. Now, what I'm going to ask you here to do is pull out a calculator. I don't want to confuse you, so I just want to do the this, the basics as far as and getting um, getting my uh, frequency distribution started using a calculator. Let's look at this data. It looks like the minimum is zero. The maximum, as far as I can see, is 49. You can use Excel or you can use Minitab to get the maximum, but I say check it visually. The largest number is 49. The smallest is zero. Let's say 49 minus zero, of course, equals 49, divided by the desired number of classes, five, is 9.8. Now, I want you to remember that because that's going to tell me my width is going to be 10. The width is going to be 10. Stay with me on this. So I'm going to go from zero to nine. Then I'm going to go from 10 to 19, and then 20 to 29. Think about that. My first class will be from 0 to 9. If you count from 0 to 9 on your fingers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You're holding up 10 fingers, so my class width is 10. All right. So, I've determined that, that it's going to be 10. Now, it's not going from 0 to 10, it's going from 0 to 9. This is the only a challenging part on this. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, see, let me hit the pause. Okay, so I know my classes. We're going to go data, code, numeric to text, very important, data, code, numeric to text. When I do, this menu pops up. It says code data from columns. Double click on data. Then it says store coded data in columns. I'm going to type data, sorry, data codes, option, original values. I'm going from zero, remember what I said, zero to nine. So 0 colon 9, that is not a semicolon, it's a colon, 0 to 9. 10 to 19. Well, i got to put a colon in there. I like to. Whoop, wrong place. 0 to 19. All right, so remember, when I divided the range by the desired number of classes, I got, zero, I got 10. 0, 10, then add 10 to that, I get 20 to 29. Well, I put a lot of Z's in there, didn't I? 20 colon 29. 30 colon 39. 40 colon 49. Now, I've got my five classes, all right? Now, over here under new, I'm going to type the same thing, or I'm going to say control C, control V, and just paste it over there. Control C, control V, paste it, it'll be the same thing. Control C, control V, control C, control V, control C, control V. All right, what you're about to see is awesome. We're going to click OK. Just to the right of my data column, it says data codes. It tells me which bucket 
each one of these data points will go into. Don't worry about it. We're going to let Minitab do the work. Now that I have that, I'm going up to Stat, Tables, Tally Individual Variables. Okay? All right. Under Variables, I'm going to double click on Data Codes. Where it says Display, I want Counts, Percents, Cumulative Counts. I could get cumulative percents too. I could do them all, but you've got to understand what you have when you get it. Click OK. Bazinga. Now, let's pull that question back up. All right. Here it is. Let's see if I can kind of minimize that. Let's look. So, my classes, oh, it got away from me there. My classes are going to be, all right, what did I have? Zero to nine. Zero to 9. Notice that many tabs says 0 to 0, 9. Don't worry about that. My next class is 10 to 19. My next class is 20 to 29. My next class is 30 to 39. My final class is 40 to 49. Okay? Notice that Minitab is doing all this work for us. Frequency, that's the same as count. So it looks like from 0 to 9, I have 7, then I have 4, then I have 4, then I have 2, then I have 3. The midpoint, get your calculator back out. 0 plus 9, let's see where my calculator is. 0 plus 9, I'm getting the midpoint of 0 to 9. So, uh, 0 plus 9 equals 9, of course, divided by 2 equals the what's midway between 0 and 9, 4.5. 10 plus 19 is 29, divided by 2 is 14.5. The cool thing about it is, notice how you go 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 on the lower end of your classes lower limit, not the lower boundary, but lower limit. The, the midpoints will go up by 10 too, 4.5, 14.5, 24.5. Why? Because 20 plus 29 is 49 divided by 2, 34.5, 44.5. All right, relative frequency, that's going to be my percentage. Let me get rid of my calculator. Percent, 35 percent. Well, they want it in decimal form here, so 35% is 0 0.35. The next one is 20%, 0 0.20. The next one is 20%, 0 0.20. Again, I'm getting them from right here under percent. The next one is 10%, 0 0.10. And then finally, 15%, 0 0.15. All right, and then what's our final question? Cumulative frequency. That's the same thing as your cumulative count. Seven, <coughs> excuse me, seven, eleven, fifteen, seventeen, twenty. And if you'll notice, seven, frequency is seven. Cumulative frequency starts at seven. Seven plus four is eleven. 11 plus 4 is 15. 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 plus 3 is 20. And again, here they are in my cumulative counts. My next question down there, let's see. Which class has the greatest frequency? Well, it looks like to me from 0 to 9 because it has a frequency of 7. Oops, sorry. Which class has the least frequency? Mm. 30 to 39, because it has only 2, 30 to 39, and I should be finished with this question. Uh, let's just submit it. I'm just doing one question on this. Submit. Oh, I still want to submit it. <laughs> There's question three. We nailed it. We got it all correct using Minitab. I don't know how long it took us, maybe 6, 8, 10 minutes. Real easy to do. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know.